Hello again everybody, this is Gusto. I have another review for you today. And I'm going to continue the theme of international rations. I'm going to be reviewing one of the items that Steve1989 sent in his latest care package. So the ration that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Arctic Field Ration, which is a product of Norway. It is packaged by Real Field Meal Company. Uh, based in Norway, and I logged onto their site. From what I can tell, it looks like a commercially available ration. Didn't get a whole lot of useful information um, otherwise on the website, as there was no English translation. However, there did seem to be a reasonable assortment of rations and items on that website. But look, we can win an iPad. We'll see what that's about once we get inside this package. So the nice thing about this packaging is it does have English translation on there and this menu is a beef stew and I'm guessing that this is going to be a freeze-dried ration. It also says that it has an energy drink, cocoa, a steak bar, chocolate, a pate product, and uh, coffee and chewing gum. So that's pretty exciting. I haven't seen this ration before or at least this particular one, the beef stew one. So let's go ahead and break into this thing. So it peels pretty easily all right. Quite easy to get into. And there's your contents. So we have oat biscuits, energy chocolate. And I can't find on the ingredients what denotes this being uh, energy chocolate, whether or not it uh, contains any caffeine, I'm not sure. But it, is, it looks like it's going to be a dark chocolate with 60% cocoa. That's cool. There's your nutrition, informations, and ingredients. Energy drink, and this uh, translates to peach flavored. Cocoa mix, and a picante sauce, medium. Mmm, liver pate with a nice happy child. Colombian coffee, wet wipe, or a disinfectant cloth, comes with a spoon, pretty sturdy, steak bar, which is Jack Link's jerky, looks like, chewing gum, and there's the meal, so this is the beef stew, or beef casserole, See if I can get a good shot of the ingredients. All right. So there you go. It says it has rice, beef, paprika, onion, wheat flour, uh, rapeseed oil, beef bouillon, salt, rosemary extract, and seasoning. Cool. So I really enjoy the freeze dried items. So excited about getting into this. So this advertises 540 kilocalories for the caloric content of this. And, and the breakdown is right there. If you want to read that and translate it, you can get the breakdown on the nutritional information there. Again, this, these rations and uh, meals are available on this website if you can translate it. That's uh, Drytech is the name of the company that makes the real field meal. Again, that's uh, drytech.no. Also comes with a plastic bag. I'm assuming that this is for leftovers or trash. All right, so that's the contents. So if we look at the directions here, um, it's nice uh, that it has the instructions just in pictures here. It doesn't actually give a volume of water to put in there, uh, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. But it does say, you know, nice hot water. Open it up, stir it up, let it set for five minutes, and then enjoy. So we'll do that. So first things first, let's get this thing rehydrating and heating. Nice hiss as you open the package. There you go, there's the contents. See there's some uh, freeze-dried bits of beef and a bunch of vegetables. Looks nice. Has no smell as it really shouldn't being freeze-dried. Let's get some water in there. I'm just gonna start with a little bit. So I don't know how much to put in here. I'm just going to use about the same amount as I would in a typical 
Mountain House meal of the same size. Just put in a few ounces. Try to get down in this corner so there's no dry bits. Looks pretty good. A Add just a little bit more for good measure, but not too much. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and seal that up and I'll leave it sitting for, it says, it, it says five to eight minutes. There we go. Let's get everything else plated up now. Okay. So let's start as usual with the bread products, and these are the oat biscuits. On the packaging, they're described as crunchy and sweet. Very good. There's their appearance in the package. Smell really good. Kind of buttery. I wouldn't say they have a sweet smell to them, but very nice and fresh smelling. In the package, there is also a Jack Link's steak bar. There you go. Pretty typical appearing beef jerky. I reviewed a uh, kippered beef steak bar in the pork rib review that I did. This is a lot more supple, pliable, and smells a lot better than that one. This, that one was pretty hard. This uh, looks just like you would see in the package of uh, beef jerky that you get from a convenience store. It smells great. There is the energy chocolate. And by reviewing the ingredients, I did not see any caffeine content. However, you can assume that there's some caffeine and chocolate. My Google search says there's 12 milligrams for every ounce of chocolate. This is uh, about an ounce, a little less than an ounce at 25 grams. So there'd be about 10 to 12 milligrams of caffeine in there. Let's open it up. This looks like a fairly dark chocolate. Mmm, smells great. Very fresh looking. Mmm, Drunberg. Smells very good. There is also the very happy child on the liver pate. Let's go ahead and get that opened. This looks very similar to the liver pate that I had in the Dutch ration. It actually is a little bit stronger in scent of that uh, that liver scent, but. That's okay. Liver may be for some people. It wasn't that bad in the uh, Dutch ration, but I'm just not a big liver fan. We'll go ahead and make our drinks as well. We'll start with the peach energy drink. On the back it says to add 0 0.5 liters, so that's actually quite a large drink. Close enough. So there's the powder, that's mostly white uh, with some pinkish bits in there. Very strong peach scent. Let's get to mixing. Next up we'll make the cocoa. So here's the cocoa, and the instructions say to add two deciliters, which is 200 mils. Alright, so there's the cocoa powder, if you can see down in there. Looks very similar to the American cocoa beverage powder, smells about the same as well. Alright, so 200 milliliters of water, hot water. Mix it up. And we have coffee. There's the instant Colombian freeze-dried coffee. 
There's no sugar or creamer with this, so it is just straight up black coffee. Okay, so the main entree has been reconstituting for a little bit, and as I was sitting there waiting, I noticed this little thing that says fill line, and I mentioned earlier that it didn't show what volume to use. I guess you're just supposed to go to the fill line. I got pretty close, so it should be fine. Still nice and warm. All right, let's get this open. There you go. It looks pretty good. It smells excellent. It's got a lot of rice, chunks of beef, vegetables in there. Looks great. Let's get it out. Actually, quite a bit of it. This thing, like I said, had 540 calories, kilocalories in there, so that's a pretty decent amount of energy. So, good amount of food. All right, so we'll take a trip around the plate. We'll start with the main entree first. It does come with this picante sauce, and uh, I'll try some of that on there, uh, but I'm going to try it by itself first. Let me get you a uh, close up. All right. So you can see in here, there's a lot of rice, there's bits of beef, some vegetables, looks like red peppers in there, some green peppers as well, maybe some mushrooms, can't really tell everything that's in there. Let's get a bite, try to get a little bit of everything. Alright, so there you see the more close up vegetables, rice and beef in there. That's that's really good, actually. Really on par with uh, the uh, U.S. LRPs and the Mountain House freeze-dried varieties that are packaged by Oregon Freeze Dry. This is excellent. Very very flavorful. Doesn't need any salt. All of the food, uh, once it's reconstituted, is a very nice texture. Hmm. That's fantastic. We will add some of that in just a little bit. Here's the crackers. So they're kind of thick, not really dry, it doesn't feel like. Looks like there's a lot of grains in there. Got a slightly sweet smell to it, but uh, feels and smells very fresh. And it's actually quite sweet to the, to the taste. It's not stale feeling, but... Um, it's also not crisp. It's it's more. It's almost a cookie, but it's rather delicious. All right, let's try some of the liver pate on it on the cracker. Very soft and smooth in uh, appearance and texture. A little bit on the cracker. There's the up close on that. <clears throat> and really, it's not bad. Um, it's very smooth and kind of creamy in texture. Strong flavor of liver, which I'm just not a fan of liver. But um, overall, it's, it's not bad at all. So if you like liver, I could see how you could very easily be as happy as that little guy. All right, and we have a kippered beef steak. This is a Jack Link's beef steak. And it has a typical beef jerky texture that you would expect from Jack Link's. It's a little bit sweet, has a lot of black pepper, a little bit of spiciness on the end. That's actually pretty good. All right now for some chocolate. Pretty dark looking. No oxidation or discoloration on that. Actually it looks really good. And it's actually quite good, nice dark chocolate flavor. It has a little bit of an unnatural, oh, I can't even really 
<clears throat> start to describe it, just kind of an aftertaste. It's a little bit, a little bit more bitter than uh, some other dark chocolates, but uh, overall not bad at all. All right, let's try our drinks. We'll start with the peach energy drink. So nice orange color, and it's completely reconstituted without any sediment in the bottom there. Very peachy in scent. It's really sweet. Very sweet with just kind of a mild peach flavor. All right, cocoa. There you go. Mmm. That's actually very smooth and creamy. Um, good chocolate flavor. Very tasty. And the coffee. Again, straight black coffee. There's no sugar or creamer in the package. Pretty good. On par for most uh, freeze-dried coffees that I've had. Not bad at all. Well, let's try some pecani sauce in this uh, beef casserole. And I like food hot, so I'm going to put all of it in there and just mix it all up. Alright, let's see if that changes it much. Mmm, actually spiced it up a little bit. It's tasty, adds a lot. So you just get a little bit more tomato, a little bit more spicy flavor into it. It's a good addition. So that is the Arctic Field Ration produced by, produced by Dry Tech. Again, this is real field meal. And you can get it on their website, which is, again, drytech.no. And there's plenty of variety of rations that are available on that website. So for my first experience with this brand and this style of ration, this is a pretty good one. I, uh, I recommend getting your hands on one if you can. So very tasty. The package was nice and light, easily portable, relatively small. Just requires a decent amount of water. I'd say for this whole thing, you probably need about a liter of water. So very pleasing, a great experience to do, and thank you again, Steve1989, for sending this my way. So as always, to all the viewers, thank you very, very much for your time and consideration. Thanks for watching, and I, I've been a little bit slow on producing videos. I've been a little bit busy the last couple of weeks, but I still plan to try to get at least one, hopefully two per week out, uh, just depending on what my schedule looks like. But uh, please stay tuned. Lots more to come. So thank you again, everyone. Until next time, thanks. Bye-bye. Just realized I forgot to review the gum. So spearmint flavor. There's the ingredients. It is a sugar-free chewing gum. There you go. Looks about the same size as a dentine ice or something like that. Strong spearmint scent to it. And a pretty strong flavor. Very pleasing. And that's it.